Hey guys, me Danny, and today we're doing the Miley Cyrus full album. So I'm going to explain to you about the the eight album that she made, which is very big because I thought it'd be six. So um, sorry about that. Got breathing there, but um, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna basically like I do my other rankings. I'm going to explain to you what the what the album is, what the songs are, what my favorite songs, and then the end I'll rank the album of the what I put in order. Because I've been showing up my plastic hearts, I'll show you my plastic hearts. I do have this plastic hearts and I will mention this already. So the albums that we have, so I'm gonna start from old to finish. So the first one we got is Meet Money Service. Then after that is Breakout. Then it's the time of our lives. Then Can't Be Tamed. Then it's Bangers. And then it's Younger Now. Miley Cyrus and her dead pets. And then it's Plastic Hearts. So I'm going to mix the order a bit. I know she does old and new, but I'm going to do the orders that I'll do. So first of all, I'm going to do Plastic Hearts. So this is the CD that I have. I don't know if I mentioned it before. But this has um, 13, 12 songs. She does have more songs. That's explicit ones. I mean, extra songs. So, okay. So Plastic Hearts. I thought this album was very good, in my opinion. I enjoyed the songs a lot. And I think this is such a masterpiece to me. And it's very different to her old album that she did. So, like, it's more rockish vibe. And the colour that she did with it is very different. It does have very good voices. I mean, what I'm, to, what I'm meant to say is that it's very different for vocals in hers. Because in this one, she has she can sing her, uh, her, she can sing her heart out a lot. That's what I'm meant to say. So, I thought this was a good concept. And I really enjoyed this album. I think this is a very good album. So, the songs that we have here is... WTF Do I Know, Plastic Hearts, Angels Like You, Prisoner, Virgin Dua Lipa, Give Me What I Want, Night Crawling, Virgin Billy Idol, Midnight Sky, Hi, Hate Me, Bad Karma, Virgin Joan Jet, Never Be Me, and Gone G String. She also has um, extra songs, which is um, the Midnight Sky remix, Zombie, and then Heart of a Glass, that's from Live. So, I'm going to be telling you each one song. So, first thing we've got is Plastic Cards. So, Plastic Cards is the main one. I really like the vibe from it from the beginning. I think it's very good. And the way that she did the concept in that, I really like that. Angels Like You is so good. I've seen a video where she's lying down in the grass. And it's very nice. And it shows her in like a little football varsity jacket thing with G that she wears. So, I really like that vibe. Prisoner with Dua Lipa, oh my god, this was very good. I think, like, it's, like, it has a good vibe on it for me. I was vibing a lot on it, and I feel like their both voices were very good, so... Very well done. Give me what I want. It's a, it's a okay song, not my favourite, but I think it's a good song. Now we got Night Crawling with Billy Idol. I feel like what she did with Billy Idol, like, the way that it's together, and the voices are very different, so I really like that. I like how she did that. Next we have is Midnight Sky. So Midnight Sky is a very good song. I know I've heard it many times on radio and I've seen it on my TV. And the music video is very good, so it's very different. So I really like it. I like how she changed her hair, so I like the way she did that. Next we've got High. I love High. Just the way her vocals go through that is so good. So I think that she did a very good job. Hate Me was very good. I really liked the vibe into that as well. Then we got Bad Karma, Virgin, Joan Jet. I really like the Joan Jet because just the way from the beginning goes, ah, 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 ah. So I like the, the vibe in it. And even the end when she sings very high, then Joan, it's, it's, it's really good. So well done. Then we got um, Never Be Me. I really love that song. It's so good. I, I think this song makes me emotional in a way. Like when you hear it a lot of time, it's so good. And last but not least, we got Golden G-String. So Golden Jason is the last one that she has. I do like that one, but it's not my favourites, but I like it though. Okay, so now we have the extra ones. The extra ones we have is um Zombie. So this is the live I think she did a remake for Zombie from Cranberry, so I really like the vibe to it. So that's a right song. She did Midnight Sky remix with Stevie Nicks. I really love this with Stevie Nicks. I when I found out with Stevie Nicks, I was like, I was so happy. I was like, wow. And even like just the way that it just um just the way that it just um how do you call it just the way it, how it smooths out with their voice is so good so i really like that one and then last but not least we got heart of glass heart of glass she did remake she did a, um how do you do it she did a remake of that so i really like that one and yeah so my favorites from plastic hearts will have to be 
bad karma, never be me, hi, prisoner, plastic hearts, I think I said before, um, Midnight Sky remix with Stevie Nicks, and hate me. This is my favourite one. So yeah, I really like this album. Like I said, I really like this album a lot. So yeah, that's what I'm going to say. All right. So second of all, we're going to go to Can't Be Tamed. This is um, this was um after Breakout. So this was um a very good album. I've heard this is a very good album because I remember when this came out, and the song Can't Be Tamed was so famous. Oh my god, I'm not even going to mention that to you. <laughs> okay, so Can't Be Tamed is a very good vibe. I like it's rockish vibe, and I really enjoyed it. Um, the album has some good choices of songs in it, so I really like it. And I like the concept of it as well. So the songs we have is Liberty Walk, Who Owned My Heart, Can't Be Tamed, Every Rose Has Its Fawn, Two More Lonely People, Forgiveness and Love, Permanent December, Stay, Scars, Take Me Away, Robot, My Heart Beats for Love. Beats for Love? Yeah. So my favourite song from her one is... Um, can't be tame. Who owns my heart? Scars and every rose has its thorn. So she does have twelve songs. Let me guess. In and I feel like this one should have more songs actually because I feel like this one was very good. So I really like this one and I think you guys you should you should listen to this one. It's very good. Now we're gonna go on to bangers. Oh yes, this is the wrecking ball moment. If you guys can remember it, I bet you can. So, this, for me, in my opinion, I'm using my computer to look at this, actually, as you can see. Um, I really like this album a lot. I feel like the songs in the whole album were so good. And to me, she did very good. And I'm proud of her the way she did Bangers. Um, I know this was during her, her break and ball breakup moment, the Jiggy, when she gone, you know, with a twerking and stuff like that. But it's, it's a good album and I really liked it. So the songs we have are Adore You, We Can't Stop, Bangers. Uh, sorry. Adore You, We Can't Stop, SMS Bangers, Four, four Times Four, My Darling from Fetch and Future, Wrecking Ball, Love Money Party, Get It Right, F You, Do My Fang, Maybe You're Right, Someone Else, Rooting for My Baby, On My Own, On My Own, and Hands in the Air. So um i think sorry if i didn't mention about um sorry i didn't mention about the songs in the meaning of songs in the um what's it called can be tamed i would say that each of them has very good vibe in it and has very, very rockish so yeah let's move on to bangers so adore you was a very good one i know it's slow and it's been how she adores this person um i really like the vibe into it i seen the video as well so i liked it we can't stop of course guys everyone should know we can stop i remember this was on radio and on on the internet and it was so famous i remember and i remember the video like i love this song and i think it's a good song bangers is a good one i like that because it's a remix of britney spears so i like the remix between britney spears so i really like the vibe onto that then we got four times four four times four is a really good one i remember later um I uh, I used to, I, this is on Just Dance, that's why I know it, and that's why, oh yeah, I remember this song. <laughs> My Donna's a good one too, the future. Wrecking Ball is amazing, of course, guys, Wrecking Ball. Love Money Party is a good one, I like listening to that one, I really like, it's a good vibe on it. Get A Ride is good, Drive is good, F.U. is so good, trust me, like, with French Matana, amazing. I really like My Fang, so good. And Maybe You're Right, and Hands in the Air was very good. Read for my baby, someone else on my heart. They're all right. Not one of my favourite ones, but I feel like she did very good in this one. So my favourites will have to be um, We Can't Stop, Bangers, Love Money Party, F.U. and My Fang, and also Wrecking Ball and Four Times Four. So these are my favourite ones. I've, like I said before, this was a very good album and I have no bad things about it. Like It was very good. It was not bad. Okay, so now we're going to go on to Younger Now. So Younger Now is after the time of our lives, I think. Is it? No, it's this is after Bangers. Sorry about that. So this was, like I said, this gave me a very country vibe. And I really enjoyed this one. And I liked it how it was slow. Um, it was very different from what her other albums are. So I really enjoyed it. It was very good. And I liked it how she um, collaborated with people as well. 
So the songs we have in um, Younger Now is, let me see, oh, we got Younger Now, Malibu, Rainbow Land, Week Without You, Miss You So Much, I Will Die For You Thinking, Bad Blood, oh, Bad Mood, She's Nothing, She's Nothing, She's Not Him, and Inspired. When I say Bad Blood, it's not Taylor Swift, <laughs> sorry about that. But yeah, this is all her songs. My favourite songs from hers is Younger Now. Oh, younger now. Sorry, it's not Younger Now. It's uh, Malibu, Rainbow Land and Bad Mood. I like um, Younger Now. I mean, so Malibu. I Younger Now. Yeah, Younger Now is one of the songs. Sorry about that. I like Younger Now too. I like how it gave, like, was explaining about her Younger Now. And I like that. I also like Malibu. I remember when the Malibu came out. It was so good. And I used to listen to it a lot of times. Rainbow Land, I've heard this for the first time with Dolly Parton. I love this and I love Dolly Parton. So I feel like this album of Dolly Parton was very good. And I, I enjoyed it. I think it was very good. And I remember that I think it was a cassette tape and she wanted to sing with Miley. So I really liked that. Miss So Much is a very good song and Week Without You. I Will Die For You is a very good and Bad Mood is good. I like Thinking I Love Someone and Inspired and She's Not Him. And yeah, those ones are very good. So yeah, I really like this album. Now we're going to go into number five, which is Breakout. So this is um the second album after Meet Miley Cyrus. So this album was very good. I really liked it and it gave me a lot of memory. So when I was listening to this, I was like, oh my God, I like this. So I put this, um, this is very good. So that's why I like it. And yeah, so the songs we're going to talk about is um, Remember Me, guys. Um, It's um, Breakout, Seven Things, The Dream, I think. The girls just want to have fun. Full circle. Fly in a wall. Burn the ocean. Wake up America. These four. Oh, these four walls. These four walls. Simple song. Goodbye and see you again. My favorite songs will have to be um, Seven Things, Fly in a Wall, A Simple Song and See You Again. So I really like Seven Things. I remember when it came out, it was... I know it was a message about a celebrity that, you know, she dated and she wrote the song about them. So when I heard the song, I was like, oh my God, I remember the song a lot. I used to listen to this a lot. Oh my God. I like Breakout too, because it's very good. I like Fly in a Wall and Full Circle. I remember Fly in a Wall. I used, to do, I used to do a dance and I used to like um listen to it a lot. So I really like that one. Bob the Ocean and Wake Up America was very good. And These Four Walls and Simple Song were very good too. And the one See You Again. See You Again was very good. So I really like this album. I feel like it was not a bad album. But yeah. So now we're going to go on to The Time of a Life. So this one is, um, I think this one's off. This was off. I think it was like, this is before Breakout. So I remember this is The Time of Party in the USA. Um, I thought this album was very good. It did give me a lot of memories. I did enjoy it. So I really like this album. But I liked it a lot. So yeah, I like this one. So the songs we have here is, uh, let me find it. Oh, Kicking and Screaming, Party in the USA, When I Look at You, The Time of Our Lives, Talk Cheap, sorry, Obsessed, Before the Storm, The Climb. So yeah, I really like this one. The Kicking and Screaming was very good vibe, and I really like that one. Party in the USA, of course everyone knows the song, it's so famous. When I Look at You is a very good one. The Time of Our Lives, I like that one. Talk Cheap and Obsessed is very good, so I like them both. Before the storm is flirting with Jones Brothers, so I really like the vibe into Jones Brothers, so I really like the vibe into it, so that was very good. And The Climb, everyone knows The Climb from the movie, Hannah Matana, the movie. So I really like this one. But my favourite ones will have to be um, Pine USA, Before the Storm, The Climb, and The Time of Her Life. So I really like this one, and I feel like it was a very good album, so I like that one. But yeah, it was a good one. I think you guys should, you should listen to this one as well. Now we're going to go on to Meet Miley Cyrus. Meet Miley Cyrus. So this is the first one and this one was very good it's very different from the other one and it's i it's not one of my favorites but i know that it's very different like when you hear this one and then plastic hearts you will see a very different vibe to it so the song that she has is see you again east Numberland, hi let's dance gno means girls night out right there as i am start all over clear yeah good and broken i miss you 
So I like See You Again and East November High. Like I said, in the first four songs, which is See You Again, East, and, East and November High, Let's Dance with GNO. They're very like a rockish. It, it reminded me a bit of Don't Forget from Demi Vato. So it was very like different vibe to it. And then Right There and As I Am, Stall Over was very good as well. Also, I Miss You was very good. So my favourite ones will have to be um, See You Again, GNO, Let's Dance, East November, East November Land High, and See You Again. I think so, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, that's it. I like those ones. But I feel like that her first one was very good, but yeah. Okay, last but not least, we have uh, Miles Harris and a Dead Pet. So I am going to say this for, for my opinion. I know that she did this about her pets. I did not know in that time. I'm finding, it, I'm finding myself stupid, but because I didn't understand. When I saw the titles, I'm like, oh, so she's talking about her pets. So I did not know. So this is um this is the album that she did that um she had to turn her mouth and I saw the video and I was a bit a weird though a bit. I was I would have to say this album was an okay album for me. It was a bit loud to be honest with you. It was a lot of her talking and then she sang and then she talked and then she got sad and I did not understand and then I was like, Oh, it's about her pets. But like I said, it did have some good songs in it, but my opinion i didn't vibe that much in a lot okay so this is a long one so i'm going to show you all of them so this one we've got do it karen dobby said the floyd song something about space dude space boots fuck i think it's fucking a uh, fed up or fu uh fed up i don't know what it's called bb talk tweaky bang my box milky milky slab of a butter I am so drunk. I get so scared. Lighter. Tangerine. Tiger Dreams. Evil's about... Evil's about what? Sorry, it's my writing, you know. Evil's about... I think it's about Ashes or... or. And then you've got Cyrus Skies. One Sun. Miley. Timberland, Timberland Bowl. Blowf... I think pa it's called Pablo the Blowfish. And Twinkle Song. So the favourite songs that I liked was Do It, Slab of Butter, Pablo the Blowfish, Twinkle Song and Cyrus Guys. I'm very sorry that I did not repeat mine. I think because my words and there was a lot confusing. Um, when she was wrote this, I don't know what she was thinking about her. I don't know what she was doing. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, I'll hurt myself. Um, anyways, this is not my favourite album, but I feel like she did a good, a good album and yeah. Okay guys, so this is the whole album of it. Um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you my ranking from, from the first. So the first one will have to be Plastic Hearts, of course. That was a very good album. So this is the first one. Then we have Can't Be Tamed. Like I said, I did like that one. It's one of my favourites. Number three is going to be Bangers. I like that one. Number four is Younger Now. Like I said, it's a very like a rockish band. It's slow. Five is Breakout. Six is Time of Our Lives. Meet Miley Cyrus is seven. And Miley Cyrus and the Dead Piss is eight. Right, so I put me Miley Cyrus and Miley Cyrus and Dead Piss last because then they are good, but they're not my favourites. Like I said, the Miley Cyrus and the Dead Piss, I wasn't feeling that well because it was not my favourite. But I think she did a very good job in her albums. Okay, so I'm going to say my full thoughts now. Um, I would have to say I really enjoyed the album, the concept of the album as well. I feel like her songs are very good. And, you know, Miley Cyrus is a very good artist and I think everyone should respect what she does. Like, sometimes she can have different music and it'll be different to other people but that, that's just the way she does her songs and you just need to like you know be with time with her because like you know in her songs she does talk about breakup and she does talk about her family and her pets and it's very nice but i feel like she's a very good artist but yeah okay guys i'm gonna go now because i've been talking about 18 minutes and i'm tired and i'm exhausted so um i hope you like this like this video comment down below what you think my Snapchat and my Instagram are down below and I'll be doing my Billie Eilish album soon so I can't wait. So yeah, I'm going to go in now guys. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.